What's up YouTube? It's Chef Roman here, uh, bringing you the very first uh, recipe video vlog for my new series of Chef Realm. Uh, so first of all I want to talk to you about basically what Chef Realm is. So the guy who came to me about a month ago after a few mates of mine came back and told me, you know, they gave me this great idea, why not incorporate what I've been doing with my Instagram uh, recipe videos and actually make some vlogs, some in-depth vlogs for you guys basically showing you exactly how to cook recipes, talk about macros, talk about flexible dieting, all those sorts of things. So yeah, that's basically what happened then. The Chef Realm was born, and here he is, and this is going to be the first one for you guys. So what are we going to be doing today? So first of all, I think I'll go through the utensils that we're going to need for the recipe, and then we're going to go through the ingredients. So if you have a look over here, these are all the utensils we've got. We've got some paper towels, going to need them. Decent sized mixing bowl. We've got a shredder, cheese shredder. We've got one spatula, a set of tongs. Underneath here, we've got a chopping board. We've got a pizza paddle. You can get that from your Target or any local store like that. And we've also got a pizza stone. Okay? So we're going to be using the oven today for that. We need two sets of decent knives for cutting stuff. And we've got a tea a set of digital food scales, and another chopping board over here. Alright, cool, so they're all our utensils, and over here are our ingredients. Okay, so the first ingredients we've got here, we've got some shredded mozzarella cheese, then I've got 80 grams of egg whites, some chili, diced chili, 5 uh, grams of olive oil, a teaspoon of garlic, wedge of lemon, we've got 50 grams of diced capsicum, 50 grams of sun-dried tomato, we've got some spring onion and some parsley there, about 10 grams, we've got some red onion here, diced, about 50 grams of that, we've also got some shredded chicken breast, that's going to be good, and we've also got 50 grams of cauliflower, 200 grams of zucchini and underneath here is another 50 grams of sweet potato or raw. And then we've got some spices and sauces. So secret sauce using Nando's peri peri sauce. It's awesome. Got some rock salt, some peri peri seasoning. And we've also got some extra virgin olive oil spray. Now you're probably thinking what we're actually going to be making today. If you thought right, yep, it's going to be a pizza. So it's going to be a low carb peri peri chicken pizza inspired basically by crust pizza. We're going to make a healthy version of it for you guys today. Low carb, low, low fat, lower calories, high protein. So the whole pizza actually works out to be about 670 calories for a full, basically large size pizza you get down in your normal pizza shop. Um, the macros are just awesome. It's basically macro heaven here at Chef Realm, so that's what we're going to do and we're going to get into it right now. Okay guys, so let's get to cooking. So first of all, what we need to do is go to our oven. We're going to turn our oven on to 220 degrees, conventional. Turning that on there, conventional heat. We're going to put it up to 220. Preheating that oven, and first of all, you actually want to put your piece of stone in the oven while it's cool. Uh, if you're throwing it in after it's preheated, then you can actually shatter your piece of stone. So make sure you're preheating the stone with the oven at the same time. Okay, so we're going to grab that and throw that in. You want to throw your piece of stone on the third last row as well, basically just in line with the fan. And it goes. It's cool at the moment, so I didn't use any mittens, but uh, later on, remember, it, it's going to be hot, you're going to burn your hands, be, sh be sure to use uh, you know, a tea towel or, or oven mix, okay? Alright, so let's get into it. So we've got our shredder there, we've got our chopping board. First of all, we're going to shred our zucchini, our sweet potato and our cauliflower, okay? So we'll start off with the zucchini. Grab that. Basically, obviously I've pre-weighed all my items. That's what I recommend you guys do too. 
go through, get each item, weigh it to each, all, all to the gram, exactly what you need, and then you can, it's easy uh, making after that, okay? So grab it, we're just gonna start shredding it on here. Throw those excess things in the bin. And the next one. Once you don't cut your fingers on this one, it can be a bit dodgy.
the other side. We need our garlic. I'm going to throw that in there as well. Teaspoon of garlic. We've got our chilli. We'll throw our chilli in there. Then we've got 15 grams of our 60 grams of mozzarella cheese. I'm going to throw that in. We've got salt and peri peri seasoning. Okay, so we're going to get some salt in there, some rock salt. Be pretty generous with your salt. Nothing wrong with a bit of sodium. Sodium actually helps the muscle uh, contraction, so send the signals through the muscles to contract. So that's pretty good. Uh, throw it in there, and it tastes awesome as well. Very, very seasoning. Don't go overboard with that, just a nice coating. We grab our spatula. We're going to mix all that together. Basically, you want to mix it through until it becomes like a sticky consistency. You don't want it to be uh, too wet. If you go off the uh, amounts that I gave you, then it's a perfect amount for bread, than like a large size pizza. Okay? So mix it through until it's all evenly together and egg whites all mixed through evenly. That's all done. Set that aside there. Now the next thing we're going to do is go grab our pizza stone out of the oven. Now it's going to be really hot. I've got it set at 220 degrees Celsius. Uh, so make sure you use oven mitts and don't put it down on a granite bench top, bench top if it's um, hot, so you can ruin the granite. Make sure you get a nice chopping board, a piece of wood to put it down on. Okay? Alright, so we're going to get our, we've got our oven mitts here. I'm not going to burn my hands. We're going to get our piece of stone out of the oven. Throw that on the chopping board so it doesn't hurt your granite. Close that. Let's continue to preheat. Place your oven mitts aside. If you've got your spray out extra virgin olive oil, just over here so the base doesn't stick. Now if it was a normal pizza and it was dough, you'd put flour down and that would stop it from sticking. This is a non-stick surface, but what I've found with this sort of base that it can still stick slightly. Okay, so I'm going to throw some olive oil on there to help the uh, slipperiness of it, okay? Just a light coating. Now as I said, we're going to get our mixture. Throw that in the center there. And it already smells great. Okay, so we've got our base there. Now we're just going to get our spoon or our dessert spoon and start flattening that out so it's shaped like a pizza base. Uh, with your pizza base, you want to make sure uh, it's flattened out enough, so it's about a centimetre thick, maybe a little bit less. Uh, the, if you make it too thick, it'll take too long to cook, and it won't actually dry out enough to become a crispy base. So make sure it's evenly spaced, there's no holes in it or anything like that, and obviously make it a nice round shape, or you can make it a square pizza if you really wanted to, it's up to you, whatever tickles your fancy really. So that's nicely evenly spread out. So we've made our pizza base shape there. Next thing we're doing is throwing the base and the stones straight back in the oven on 220 degrees Celsius. And we're gonna leave it in there for about 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, make sure you don't leave it in there too long because by the time you put its toppings on and then throw it all back in the oven again for another five to 10 minutes, you could actually overcook your base and burn it to the uh, and it will actually stick to the, the, uh, the uh, stone. So make sure you're keeping an eye on it, give it some love, don't just walk away and watch TV or something like that. Stay around your oven, put some love into your cooking and, it, and it's easy done guys, it's not hard. All right, so we're gonna throw that back in the oven.
Vinci goes. So 25, 20, 25 minutes, we're gonna take that back out and uh, we're gonna make some toppings and throw that on. What we're gonna do in the meantime though, while that's cooking, is we've got our chicken pieces here. We're gonna go over to the uh, fry pan, we're gonna fry them up and pretty much cook them through 70% of the way, and then they'll further cook once they're back on the toppings and on the pizza in the oven. Okay, so meet me over there at the uh, fry pan. Okay guys, so while the base is cooking in the oven, we've got our chicken that we need to cook up. Uh, we've got our pan on high heat at the moment because we just pretty much want to smash it, sizzle it, cook it through maybe 70% of the way and then take it straight off the pan, ready to throw on as toppings later. Okay, so with your pan, to check its heat, put your hand over, obviously don't touch it. You can feel the heat radiating off it, it's pretty much ready to go. We're just going to throw a little bit more of the olive oil spray on just so it doesn't stick. A little bit like that. Grab our chicken pieces which are already chopped, chopped up and weighed. And throw it in, come and have a look at this. So you want to really spread the chicken pieces out so they're not all clumped together. Cook them evenly on each side, maybe for two or three minutes a side, not even. Basically you just keep an eye on it and, and you can see once it's starting to cook. Break all the pieces up. Let that sizzle there for a little bit. And then once it's cooked through on the single side, we're gonna flip them each, each of them over individually. Once that's cooked for a little bit, maybe 30 seconds to a minute, we're gonna take it straight off and put it back in the bowl, waiting to be thrown in the oven, okay? Okay, so our chicken's cooked through. We've got a freshly clean bowl. We don't want to throw the cooked chicken back into the bowl that we had the raw chicken in. Scrape it together, throw it in the bowl. There we have it. Okay, so another tip I want to give you guys about chicken is most people were so scared of salmonella poisoning, things like that, when it comes to cooking chicken, that they actually cook their chicken breast so much that it becomes dry and it's basically like eating cardboard. So what I recommend is cook your chicken, but once it's cooked through, it should still be juicy. There should still be oils and stuff coming out of it. It shouldn't be a dry, if you cook your chicken really nice, it's actually a, a really succulent meat to eat. So don't overcook your chicken, keep an eye on it. Good tip is basically once it's cooked, if you stab it with a knife or a fork and clear liquid comes out, then it's good to go. If any pinky watery liquid comes out, then it's probably not cooked through. Also, don't try and cook a chicken breast that thick, because it's going to take forever to cook the chicken breast all the way through. Cut it into thinner slices, fry it either side, it's going to cook quickly and you're going to be able to save the juices within the chicken and it's not going to be dry. Okay guys, so the pizza's been in the oven for 25 minutes. We're going to take it out and uh, throw it on our wooden chopping board here and then we're going to throw on the toppings and throw it back in the oven finish her off for a further 10 minutes. So come over here and have a look. Alright, so there's the base. Got her out, she's nice and starting to crisp up on the uh, outer rim and the top starting to go a bit crispy. Throw her on there. Make sure you close the oven again so the heat stays in. Keep it at 220 degrees, which is a bit steamy at the moment. Now we're going to throw on our toppings. First thing to go on is our chicken, and then we go from there. Chicken, we're going to go capsicum, onion, things like that. Our sun-dried tomato, and then cheese and all those sorts of things, okay? So, just little pieces like that. You want to evenly spread them out. I normally go from the outside in or the inside out, whatever tickles your fancy, really. So leave a gap between each piece so you can fit something else in between that all the way to the edge of the base. And when you cut your chicken pieces, make sure they're cut to about that size there. No bigger than maybe maximum the size of your thumb. Unless you've got really, really big thumbs. Maybe half a thumb. So our chicken's on, now we're going to throw on all the rest of the toppings.
Okay guys, so we've thrown all our toppings on the pizza. Next thing, back in the oven for another 10 minutes. Keeping an eye on it. Basically you want the cheese to melt nicely through. Maybe a slight bit of browning on the cheese as well. All the uh, vegetables, everything going to sink in nicely and it's going to get all those flavours and everything coming out. And then we're going to take it back out and we're going to eat it. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope you guys do too. So back in the oven now. That 10 minutes and then we'll take it back out and see how she looks. Okay guys, so the pizza's been in the oven for about 10 minutes. We're going to come around here, we're going to grab her out, throw her on the board and I'm going to let it sit for about 2-3 minutes before we cut it up. So come over and check it out. Look at that. Looking pretty good. out of the oven. Uh, we've got it here on the stone. What we're going to do now is actually get a thin spatula. I'm going to work around the edge, make sure it's not stuck. Uh, the edges sometimes you find they stick a little bit. Work it around and then we'll get a pizza shovel and we're going to lift that off, put it on a cutting board ready to cut up in just nice uh, pizza shaped pieces. Okay, so come over here now and have a look. So you really just want to Work around the edges like so. Make sure there's no stuck areas. Now when it comes to this base, basically it's never going to be as hard as a normal pizza base. Okay, so it's made from vegetables and egg whites. It's always going to be a little bit softer. You're not actually probably going to be able to pick the pieces up properly, eat it like a normal piece of pizza. Uh, can be done, just have to do it with two hands kind of thing. Uh, so bear with me, we're going to pick it up on the pizza shovel, throw it on here and cut it up. Alright guys, so we're throwing our peri peri sauce on top. Just dollop it on there. This secret peri peri sauce is actually really low on calories. And now we get to, all you've got to do now is basically eat it and enjoy it. It's pretty bloody good. So any of you guys out there in need of diet and training packages, send me an email to matt at relevantfitness.com. Also, if you want to know a bit more about flexible dieting, macros, all that sort of stuff, send me an email, get a free consultation, and thank you very much for subscribing, tell your friends, tell your family, share, like, and comment. And this has been Chef Relevant, taking you guys to macro edit.